Hi, it's Jason from the Erie Toolworks Company. Uh, we're here today to show you how to assemble a wheelbarrow that is sold exclusively at Home Hardware. It's called Mark's Choice. Uh, really, it should be probably called Gardener's Choice because it's ideal for gardeners. Uh, we launched the product back about seven years ago, about 2013, and uh, the response has been enormous. Uh, the female gardeners seem to really like it because it's a nice two wheel cart. I uh, just come here to take a picture of this. You'll see it's a nice dual wheeled cart with two pneumatic tires, great for mulch and dirt and planting of flowers, things of that sort. It has nice dual wheels that make it nice and stable and easy to, uh, to push around the lawn. So today I'm gonna to take you through everything you need to do to put it together. So first of all, uh, you're gonna get the Mark's Choice tray. It comes in a large parts carton. You'll see this one here, it's extra large because it holds two wheels. The item comes with two pneumatic tires. Uh, comes with a bearing, nice pressed in bearing. So you've got your two tires, comes with a set of legs, cross braces, comes with a long axle. And in the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how to assemble the Mark's Choice five cubic foot uh, dual wheeler. All right, our first step with putting together this wheelbarrow, uh, we're gonna do the undercarriage first, starting at the bottom. So you're gonna require your two legs, you're gonna require your cross brace, and you're gonna require the long axle for the dual wheels. So the first step is you put down your legs with this square uh, axle boxing here facing the outside. And we're just going to thread the, the axle through here, through there, space them about that far apart, about the right distance of the wheel, maybe a little bit narrower than that. So that's the first step. Then we're going to take the cross brace. And we're going to put the cross brace on the back like this. And we're going to use our two inch bolts that it comes with. Connect it up on each side. One on this side. One on this side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the nuts and bolts and washers on the back. We're going to only go hand tight. All right, this stage here, we've put together the undercarriage. We've put on a cross brace. We've used our slot screwdriver. And I've just used a half turn of a socket. Uh, just to try and tighten it up a little bit, you can see there, it's just hand tight. I haven't tightened anything down as yet. Now we're going to apply the wheels. It comes with two four-ply pneumatic tires. Make sure that the air valve stem is on the outside. All too often people are in rushes and put the tire on this way, and it's hard to put uh, air into the tire in the future. What you're going to do first, slide this large washer here. Put on the tire. Put on this other washer, push the axle through to about the right depth, and you're just going to put on your cotter pin. At this stage, we've now installed both of the pneumatic tires on the axle. We've put the washers in, and we've also got the, uh, the cotter pins. Most of the time when this happens, 99% of the time, your legs should be flush in the ground. You're going to see them here sitting nice and flush in the ground. Sometimes on occasion, it's rare, but you might have a weld here that's just off by ever so little and you'll have a leg sitting a little bit off the ground while the other one is on the ground. If that is the case, all you need to do is remove the tire. Remove the tire from the other side and bend the leg that's sitting high with a torque, you bend it back, and the leg will then sit flush and then reinstall your tires. That's a helpful hint. It doesn't happen too often, but if you ever do need to do that, take off both tires, pull out the axle, just impact the side that's actually got the leg off the ground and just give it a slight twist just on this area here with the long bar, and that'll make the legs nice and level. Okay, so now we've got the tires assembled on the axle. We've given you a helpful hint. If for some reason your legs were to be a little uneven, Pull the one wheel off, the other wheel off, pull the axle over the side that is low and just give this box here just a little twist and pull it towards the back. Now that we've got that sitting nice and stable, got a nice little unit, we're going to take the five cubic foot tray here, nice virgin poly material, and we are going to put it like that and we're going to use our two and a half inch, or three inch bolts, pardon me, and we are going to fasten it to the front of the undercarriage first, and then we're going to work on the arms in the back. Okay, so now we're assembling the tray onto the, uh, onto the frame. We have pinned the front two, so the front two bolts have been put through. They've been fastened on with a nut. Again, only hand tight. 
Uh, the final stage is to apply and attach the handle. So I'm going to take the last bolt and I'm going to put it through there. Through that and like that. And I'm just going to apply the nuts and the washers now. So we've attached now the tray to the undercarriage and the handle. Sometimes in this process, when you're putting the bolt through from the inside, you have to kind of finagle a little bit and give it a push or pull to make sure that these three components line up. It doesn't take too much work. This might be the only phase where it's nice to have a friend there to hold something while you're doing it. So everything has been fastened now, but yet everything is only hand tight. So at this stage, you're gonna take a half inch socket and you're gonna go around and tighten up the whole wheelbarrow because you're now complete. All right, so we've gone around with the half inch socket and the adjustable wrench, and we've tightened everything down. The wheelbarrow is now complete and ready to be used in the field. Um, just gonna take you through the features of this just for a moment. It does have a fairly light duty poly tray, good for mulch, dirt, flowers, things like that. Um, two dual pneumatic tires, four ply on a long axle. It's got a very unique frame design to it. And it's got this cushioned soft grip up here, which is really great. This item has been very, very successful, specifically with the female gardeners. They seem to like it because it's very light, is very easy to steer, and it's great for gardening applications. It really should probably be called gardener's choice because that's what it is. When you, when you put it on the ground and you lift it up, you just realize how light it is. With the wheels further back than a traditional wheelbarrow, it's more of a tilt and push than a lift and push, which makes it kind of unique. So again, that axle being further back saves your back. Very nice and easy to push around. Very light to load in the back of the truck or a car. Space is permitted, it doesn't weigh a whole lot. This is a great wheelbarrow. These are available right now only at home hardware stores. So if that's where we'd go to look for them. If you have any questions or concerns, you can reach us. The number is on our, our instruction sheet. You can call us Monday to Friday, 9 to 4.30 at 866-316-3743 and press extension 1. Or you can reach us anytime at our email, service at etwcompany.com. And uh, thanks for watching and enjoy your Mark's Choice wheelbarrow.